Alright guys, so in this video what we're doing is we're building a very cool stealth fight in jet program. So let's say Boeing commercial airplanes hired you to make uh, a program that will enable their stealth fighting jet to fly across, uh, let's say, to fly and for, uh, let's say, act for defense for their country. So let's say they hire you and they want to make you build the software for this cool aircraft they just built. So this is our aircraft which we want to build the software of and this is pretty much like um, before starting the tutorial I just want to like share this thing with you that the, there are three things this pitch axis, roll axis and yaw axis. Now forget the word axis right here. Now let's just remember that rolling means that your aircraft this wing goes down and this wing goes up so we can uh, like uh, build a sentinel control loop to control this so like if we type like one this this thing goes down and this thing goes up and if we uh, like type two it pitches up and down and yaw means that your aircraft is moving just right or left from its nose this part is the nose is moving right and left and the tail from the either end so these are pretty much the three things you'll definitely understand what I'm trying to say when we build the program so let's go ahead and quickly build our program we have these uh, one variable that is int action and we don't need to initialize that and um, let's say we want to see how Eagle X is ready to take off. So E is your Eagle X is ready to take off. And Eagle X is our plane uh, or our stealth firing jet that we are making the software for. So end line to that and don't forget these operators, insertion operators. And after that, we're gonna see out that awaiting for your orders basically Eagle X is awaiting for your orders so awaiting T-I-N-G awaiting and add some exclamation marks there insertion operators and that line and now we are gonna go ahead and type the while loop so in this while loop uh, what's this is the point of our tutorial that is sentinel control loop what is sentinel control loop sentinel is basically this thing that's uh, repetition is sometimes called indefinite repetition because it is known in advance how many times the loop will be executed it is a repetition procedure for solving blah 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 and so sentinel value also called a signal value or a dummy value or a flag value. So focus on this flag value thing and the signal value. What they're trying to say is that the sentinel control looks for an action. It uh, looks for a, a value, a signal value or a flag value at which the loop will uh, terminate. So let's just go back to the program and in the while loop we can type like uh, action is not equal to 99 and in the body of the while loop that that is pretty much the our flag value or the signal value uh, uh, when our program will come across this value or this loop will terminate so in the body of our while loop the first thing we're gonna enter is c in action and then add a terminated to it and then we can write a bunch of if else statements that if not of if action equals one then go ahead and print out eagle x is now cruising or let's say accelerating and end line to that so now we can just type in bunch of if else statements so 
we can type like uh, else if in this one else if action equals to then go ahead and see out eagle x is now not snow now cruising and an exclamation mark to that and then end that line and now we can just copy this else if thing control copy and control paste control paste control paste control paste and now action is two now that action is three then eagle x is uh, we have made a mistake is now uh, let's say deploying brakes D E P O O. brakes and then the next step we can write action for that eagle is now let's say um, pitching upwards or taking off so it's a technical aircraft terms don't worry you'll definitely understand when the program is completed so in this when the action is like five we can go ahead and uh, that is the worst copy paste ever so let's say pitching downwards And then the action six. Well, let's just remove this action six for the sake of simplicity of this program. Let's just remove this and add a default command. That is now be careful with these brackets. This curly braces or curly bracket is the partner of this one. So we want to write the, our default C out command or or pretty much the uh, closing command in between these two these this one and this one so basically out of the loop so our default or let's say and the when the loop ends that command would be let's say eagle x is now returning to base automatically or we can like uh, write eagle x is uh, now Autopilot is activated and now Eagle X will re automatically return to the base. So something like that we can write depending on upon our creativity. So Eagle X is now returning to base automatically, not automatically. Add an exclamation mark to that and in that line oops why do i forget these insertion operators and this is end l not end now let's just go ahead and build and run this program uh, i'm gonna build it first and then run it so uh now now with that our program is built we can now test the program if we type in one it says eagle x by default it says eagle x is ready to take off waiting for your orders so eagle x is now accelerating now if we press two eagle x is now cruising if we press three eagle x is now deploying brakes and let's say we wanted to like cruise so we can cruise and then accelerate and then deploy brakes and or cruise or something like that and then by four we want to pitch upwards or move our aircraft towards the sky and if you want to move downwards we can go ahead and mm, there is no six so of course if we type five eagle x is now pitching downwards and we can now add as many options we want so pretty much like in this thing if we look at it pitching yawing and rolling and there's pretty much a lot of things you can do with the aircraft you can also bank the aircraft that's a combination of like yawing and pitching i guess yawing and rolling is like banking combined 
so that's too much complicated for the sake of the simplicity of this program I have these like five options so and then one, if you want to type in 99 to end the program or end the loop then we can go ahead and type 99 and now it says eagle x is now returning to base automatically and if you want this program to be a little bit closer, more cool we can go and change this to uh, like autopilot autopilot is now activated returning to base automatically and hopefully you can see that so this is our pretty much like code of 28 lines not lengthy so you can build a, a lot of built-in functions into this program so that's it for the sentinel control loops and hopefully we have built the best software for our aircraft our stealth fighting jet how cool is that so see you guys in the next video